It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Coach House Brewing Company and this is a bottle of their Cheshire Gold. It's a gold nail coming in at 4.1% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Here's a nice look at the bottle. We have a, a gold bottle cap. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out. I'm going to bottle opener into a glass and see what we get. So many cans these days, so many cans that in my setup I forget about the bottle opener these days. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. I'm glad to say I've got a pint glass ready. <laughs> Beer in the glass then. might be a bottle conditioned ale so we'll spin that up a little bit and yeah it, it looks like an unfiltered uh, bottle conditioned ale you can see the sediment there fall into the bottom of the glass yep. there's a look at the bottom hazy looking brew Real hazy looking brew. It is. I've got it out the fridge, but it's about, I'd say it feels, uh, I'm no expert when it comes to actual temperature, but my fridge says five degrees. It's been out of the fridge about half an hour. So I'd like to think about seven, eight degrees we're going to be reviewing this beer at, which is a really good temperature. Um, it's, a, it's a hazy golden amber colored ale. Um, quite foggy. Uh, let's get the aroma then. Mmm, lovely toffee malts coming through. Biscuity, bready. Oh, that smells really good. But hoppy at the same time. It's got a a zesty lemon and a kind of a zesty kind of lemon and lime flavors coming through it smells delicious really does and that that biscuit malt that's coming through it's got a little bit of nuttiness to it toffee hammer toffee flavors coming through with a nuttiness like almonds or something like that it smells fantastic i'm ready to dive in cheers everybody mm. oh yeah very nice very nice i'd say more of a rather than a golden ale I'm picking up flavours of licorice, biscuitiness, breadiness. For me, this is more, this is a more good, solid, good quality kind of English best bitter. Premium ale, if you like, rather than golden ale. I think in terms of golden ale, I think you're looking for something a little bit hoppier. But that says it does have a to balance off with the malt. We'll talk about the malts a little bit more in a moment. But to balance off that malt, you're getting more of a, a, a lemon and a grassy, hoppy, stinging nettle type hop coming through. So not to be confused with pale ale. A golden ale is is more kind of leaning towards being a little bit more kind of traditional even some will say some golden ales are produced to go up against the kind of mass produced la mass produced lagers that are out there it's to keep the ale drinker drinking the ale but obviously being light and golden it's it, it's you know it, it looks good in the hand of a lager drinker or if a lager drinker t tried it it's a little bit more accepting. 
albeit this is not looking like a golden ale. Now I'll tell you a quick story. Um, I worked a few years ago um, as a pub manager in the Red Fox in Penlyn, in near Cowbridge in Wales. Loved the job, fantastic place, because um, I was left in charge. I was like a bar manager. I didn't have too much to do with the restaurant side of it. So I was kind of bar manager. And we had this guy who come in. His name was Andy. He'd come in at past two, three o'clock. In his 60s, he was. So he he would he was still building. He was sort of building in his 60s. So by the time I passed two, three o'clock come along, he was, you know, a little bit old, heading to retirement, couldn't do a full day's work anymore. So so he used to come into the pub half past two, three o'clock every afternoon with his with his work clothes on and, and pint of car that he'd say. And um I got being a carpenter by trade, of course, we had a lot in common. So I I become good mates with the uh, with the, with this Andy fellow, um, and I kind of every time we had a like golden ale come in, I'd um, I pour him a little third, and I'd say, "What do you think of that?" You know, I never used to say kind of, um, "Try this, please drink this." Um, didn't force it on him. What I used to do was go, "I just I just put this barrel on." Um, what do you think of that? I'm, I'd say I'm unsure. I'm unsure on this, and, and he'd, and I, I'd get him involved, and he'd start drinking these like like golden ales, and then by the time I finished the job, he, he'd moved away from the carling, and he was buying golden ales, and it's because it's accepting for a lager drinker. It's it it looks like a mass-produced carling, to to be honest with you, and, and it, it, it's for a lot of people they drink with their eyes. So, so it, you know, in all that time I was there, I, I got a couple. I got a couple over from drinking Carlin to drinking uh, finer ales, and and I'm sure they'll thank me for that today. Well, hopefully, anyway, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? So, biscuity, malty, bready, nicely hopped on the back end. It's got a nice kind of balance to it. This this beer, nicely balanced beer between the sweetness and the bitterness of the hops. It's a really good beer, actually. It's a really good beer. I'm just unsure about it being called a golden ale. I would prefer this to be called a premium ale because it, it tastes like a premium ale. It's got more biscuity and bready and nutty, nutty notes to it rather than a lighter golden ale. But it's really good. I like it. A wonderful golden beer with a fresh citrus hop aroma and a refreshing pine lemon crispness an easy drink and a thirst quenching beer that is perfect for all occasions whether on its own or with your favorite meal best served chilled below 12 degrees there we go hops malted barley yeast and water yeah coach house coach house brewery coach house brewing company yeah i mean this is my first beer from them and i'm i'm quite happy with it quite happy with it it's a decent beer i like it enough to give it a seven out of ten a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.